Hi guys, welcome back and hello if you are new. I hope all of you have had a great week so far and you've got something great planned for the weekend. A fast growing force in the world of death metal, Necrot have blown faces completely wide open with their albums Blood Offerings and Mortal. The band are finally back with 2024's third album in the form of Lifeless Birth. So if you're not familiar with Necrot, they are a band that I think are quite rooted in that old school death metal aesthetic, but they very much have modern ideas and then have elements which are kind of drawn from the likes of hardcore and punk. The riffs are well put together, like on the album opener, Cut the Chord, but it's what kind of brings the overall riffs together in terms of dynamics that I think really makes the song. And whilst much of the tracks on the album will have kind of a combination of like say four or five riffs, they've gone through an incredibly rigorous um, quality, <laughs> can't even say rigorous, rigorous quality control. There's also some more emphasis on some of the more kind of tricky time signatures, but nothing too wild that you can't bang your head to it. I think that harmonies are being put forward more, like on the title track, Lifeless Birth, but there are melodies which I think, you know, in terms of layering and things like that, hadn't really necessarily been done before, which I think is, you know, where the record breaks a little bit of new ground. It's not always the same kind of melody as well. You know, you've got tracks like Drill the Skull, which I think has more of a diminished sort of feel. <laughs> But then we've got the final track of The Curse, which explores kind of a bit more of a darker melodic territory. And where solos are concerned, again, you know, the melody's been upped, so that sort of idea has, has changed as well. I think, you know, there's, there's more emphasis on different kinds of solos. Personally, a favourite of mine is in Superior. I think that's a really, really interesting solo, nicely well thought out. Much of the record really does hit you like a ton of bricks. And, you know, I think that's very much to do with the drums. Uh, but I like the fact that as much as there is this sort of like powerhouse behind the drums, you've got tracks like Winds of Hell, which kind of shows the symbols, that sort of flight fluted nature that the band have as well. It's also worth noting that the rhythm section is so tight on this record. You know, there's not one a palm muted section that doesn't sync up with the double kick you know everything lands exactly where you would want it to so the album is short and sharp there's never really sort of like anything that's too intense and the record doesn't overstay its welcome which considering it's only 40 minutes of it allows you to kind of come back for another bite at the necrot cherry my only criticism I would say of this album is that there were a couple of times where my attention did wane ever so slightly because the songs are quite similar, you know, they have a formula, they do it very, very well, but very quickly it was kind of, you know, recaptured. Necrot have really kind of taken their time to hone their craft and in doing so they haven't sacrificed that intensity that makes the core of their death metal sound, but have also pushed forward the idea of melodies to kind of increase and evolve their songwriting to, I think, make probably the most well-rounded release of their career so far. So for that reason, I'm going to give this album an 8.5 out of 10. Very, very, very good. So thank you ever so much for watching this album review. If you did enjoy it, it'd be great if you could hit that like and subscribe and share with anyone that you might think would be a fan. I've also got a great interview with Luca Indrio of Netcrop, which is coming right up and I will link it in here once it's live and all that sort of stuff. Thank you so much for checking the video out and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Take care.